We have a guest. Oh no, we don't. <laughs> we have a guest. Hardly a guest. Hello. Hardly a guest. <laughs> so, you a, so, so you miss a few, and then and, and then suddenly you're never doing it again. It's just way over the top. <laughs> it's been a week since you've been on here. Yeah, it was last Monday. Walking. And it is now Monday the 15th. It is. <laughs> it's warm out. There's not a cloud in the sky, which is not crazy. One. Beautiful. It's very beautiful here. Which way are we turning? Uh, let's go. Uh, let's go to the right. Yeah, it's a good time. Good I'm job. working a different schedule these last few days, so. It's good. Getting up at like like out oh, three in the morning and working uh, from like four in the morning to like no. nine. <laughs> Just about. <laughs> Just about. Yeah, I did get up at six this morning, which is early for me. Yeah. <laughs> and I have to be logged in at seven, so Damn. I like to. <laughs> so I like to get up and. Get a shower, get my devotional and all that stuff done. So it's How's a thing. That? Oh, that's pretty good today. Um, got a new printer. Yay. Yeah, he's excited. And a new mouse. It. <laughs> it's, it's, a, it's crazy what you get excited about anymore. But anyway, so it's. Uh... That house is very red. Uh, yeah, that house is a serious kind of red. <laughs> like fire red. Fire engine red. <laughs> like, it, it, it could be a 67 Mustang. I mean, it's red. <laughs> I, don't, I don't... I don't know. Now, I'm over the mind... It's you, not ugly, but... I, I'm over the mind, if, if you pay for it, you can paint it whatever color you like. I don't care. Uh, but, I wouldn't have chosen that. Not gonna show you because it what? Like, it looks like if it was a, like if it was a Hillsboro High School uh, or Bloomingdale High School um, fraternity house. Mm -hmm. <laughs> those, those basic colors, black, red, and white. But you know, it looks nice. I'll paint your house whatever color you want. It's your house. You pay for. It. As long as you pay for. It. If it's your house, <laughs> paint it whatever color you want. There's a house that we passed by that you probably don't get to see that's pink and with pink with red uh, accents. Yes. And it's been that way it's ever since we ever moved since here. We've been here for, for, for our, you know. They just refresh the pink. Yep. That's what they like. <laughs> I think they want to stand out. That's, that's, what, that's what they like. And then there was one that was that neon green at one time. Yep. yep that's what they like. <laughs> and we called it the greenhouse. It was the greenhouse. And the pink house. <laughs> now we have the red house. What the house is so red. Anyway, <laughs> crazy how red the house is. So what are y'all up to on, 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 on this Monday? You think exciting going on? Taxes. Yeah, I'm gonna talk about that. <laughs> no. That suck. <laughs> they do. It's scary, anyway. But other than that, did you have a good weekend? Write down in the comments. Um, what do you plan for this week? What are you going to do? What do you, what are your plans? What are some, what's something that you want to get accomplished that you've been wanting to get accomplished for a while and you're just going to sort of take this week or today to go ahead and get that started? Write it down here so we can agree with you and, and cheer you on. Yes. No matter what it is. It, it, it doesn't have to be physical fitness. And pray for you. It doesn't have to be any of that stuff. It's whatever it is. That you want prayer for. That you just to wanna, make it through. If you want to get it started and you want to just go ahead and, and do it today and, and, and have the day, today be the day that you start, go ahead and write it in the comments so we can agree with you that um, that's what will happen. You want to keep going? All right, no, let's go ahead and turn around. My hips. My hips. I have hips. Oh, right, going I back to the sun. <laughs> I did two laps on Friday. I was so proud of myself. That's awesome. That's awesome. And I'll probably come out and do some when I get off from work because I get off at four. Four, and it's still daylight. It's, it's daytime. Yes. It's not even daylight. It's daytime. I can have projects. Yeah. yeah. 
I am my father's daughter. I'll just be getting started. <laughs> uh, I, I go. I have to be in at, at three, so uh, I'll just be getting started at four. Really? So. I like having projects and things to do. Staying busy. Okay. Anyway. We just thought we would bring you along. Hop in there this morning. <laughs> on our... Posted the weekly vo vlog uh, last night. So it is up now. So you get, cause if, you, if somehow you get this first, which is, I don't know how, how that's, that's possible. It's not possible. Uh, but if it were possible, if you see, see this and don't see the other one, go back and see the weekly vlog from last week. And uh, thanks for people who are subscribing. People who are sharing, people who are commenting. If we don't get to the comments, um, he's pointing at me. If we don't get to the comments. We do <laughs> see them. Thank you, and thank you so much for commenting. We appreciate that. And I will follow up. I'll get to you. It's a project. I have to make it a project. <laughs> yes. All righty then. Are we out? We are out. All righty. Always remember. Never forget. We love you. And there's nothing, nothing you can, you can about do about it. it. Peace. Y'all be good now. Good evening, good evening. It's a Monday afternoon after work. Cooking some stir fried vegetables with minced onion and some liquid aminos. And the guys are going to have some fish, and I'm going to have, I'm going to roast me up some of these hearts of palm, and once I roast them, I will let you see them. But this is what we're having for dinner. I think I'm going to make some um, brown rice along with it, but as I mentioned, I am not, that's my oven going off. <laughs> I am not um, partaking of any meat right now. Just a little choice of mine, but this has some mushrooms, broccoli, cauliflower, carrots, red onions, snap beans. So yummy. Want some? <laughs> Talk to you later. Was a Christmas present, but hello hello it's a lunch break walk but we're headed to the park and mr willie took my stand out of here wait a minute i did not that was my stand <laughs> you gave it to me I, no i put it in this car and then i if put it's in my car and then i put it in my car which you guys never see me in <laughs> But he took my stand. I, 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 I did not. It was not it's, it's my stand. I bought it. <laughs> and he put it in my car for us to use. And then when my son gave me this one, which only does the other way, then I, this is how you got to see us on the way to the park. It's now. okay. It's okay. You guys are okay, right? He's not in the fit. In I'm right here. Hey, how y'all doing? Uh, hi there. I wanted something different today. Hi there. Because I have agreed to allow Mr. Willie <laughs> to take to walk a day and take a day off so that So my hips don't hurt. It isn't my breath, it's my hips. And I don't know why that is. He has the stamina. I can do it if my hip will would, would cooperate. Mm -hmm. So I think it's time for orthopedic. Yeah, visit. it's probably it's time for an orthopedic visit. What would that be? That house, how they remodel it. Mm. So we're on the way. Here comes the car. We're on the way to the park. Are you trying to say I talk too much? No. No, I'm not. 
we we're always debating as to who is the more social person. Not me. Mm. Not at all. I am any of you all who grew up with me that are watching this, you all know Debbie is a very quiet person. Things are pink. <laughs> Debbie, Debbie has if you never were at been. The reunion, you know that. <laughs> Debbie has always been very quiet and and timid and docile. Okay. <laughs> but I, I, I don't think I've ever shared this with with even you that back in the day before even people would record themselves and all this stuff like that when I was a teenager I used to pretend that people were watching me and I would act out little th skits and do little things and all kind of stuff my mom used to say she thought that somebody was in my bedroom with me because I would be talking and carrying on conversations and doing things like as if I was a teacher or or a banker or doing you know working and doing things I would I used to do that because I kind of grew up by myself I my my siblings are a lot only, older than me only child so I was kind of like an only child and I had to entertain myself and that was before you know cell phones and social media and all that stuff like that but I think back now that I used to pretend like I was vlogging when I was when I was a teenager and a, a preteen I used to do that and now to know that that reality it was kind of like a prophecy for myself and now that, that now I know why I like to do this and they make vlogs and talk and, and do things like this. But it's kind of weird when I think about it. I know my mom would be like, that, that is why you do this because you did it as a child. So pretty interesting. It only, it, 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 you know, if you're an only child, it's, it, it's a mechanism. Uh, you learn, to enter, you, you do learn to entertain yourself. Mm -hmm. uh, and that's, and sometimes that's part of it. Uh, act out scenes in your head or out loud or whatever. It's just, is that, is that green car coming down here? Yes. I don't know if they were speeding. But uh, that's just. That's how you 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 live when you're you're an only child. You you're you're your very own best playmate. And you make up characters. And then you just make up all sorts of, all, all sorts of things. You just you, you are you you are your own playmate. So. Pretty interesting, and and those are the people who are successful at vlogging and making YouTube all videos. That, yeah, and all that stuff. All that stuff. And for the most part, being perfectly okay with being by themselves. Mm -hmm. uh, people will ask me all the time. So, what are you doing? I'm sitting quietly. They're like, really? Yeah, I'm just sitting quietly. <laughs> don't you? No, no, no. Don't you get bored? No. With me? No. Not with me. I'm one. Yeah. I'm wonderful. How can I get bored with me? <laughs> I'm great. Uh, and I'm and, and I'm practice. You know, you practice about being alone, so you don't get bored. You just don't. I don't get bored. Actually. And and the funny thing is, is that our son is growing up. Is an only child. <laughs> and he entertains himself. He entertains himself. He has stuff to do. You know? Not that he isn't a great social person, because he is. And fun to be around, but he is perfectly okay with being by himself. Perfectly okay with being by himself. Always has been. So here we are at the park. It looks like the parks and recreation people are having lunch here. Yeah. <laughs> I, I think they're having a union meeting. They have their secret union meetings here. I, you know what? I'm sure they do. <laughs> I'm sure they do. Okay, we'll we'll be back. I, I'm seeing it. Here we are back at the park. As we were telling you, the city people are here having their lunch. 
You can see all of their trucks. This is one of the parks that is close to our neighborhood. I was just on the phone, not, yeah, on a Zoom call with my coworkers telling them how we love parks. We like to go to all the parks and see what is out here in Tampa. I'm gonna turn you around. Hey y'all. And it's a really nice day. And from here, we can see my job. <laughs> Bush Gardens. You see Bush Gardens from here. Uh, One of your jobs. Yeah, well, yeah. <laughs> you know, and for those of you who, you know, who are watching, who live around here, you'll probably know exactly where this is. You can see, I can see Shikra and Falcon Fury. I can see Montu. I can see uh, Iron Gwazi from here. So we are pretty close. We live around the corner from Bush Gardens. And how often do we go? <laughs> I, well, I go like once every other week. <laughs> I go to work. But I don't go that much. It's like people who live in, live in Florida. Everybody thinks we go to Disney all the time. And to the beach. And to the beach. We haven't been to the beach in years. We live on the beach. We haven't been to the beach in a really long time. Uh... And I haven't been to Disney, I haven't been to Disney, Disney, golly, more than 30 years. Yeah, because. No, we went for Mary, Mickey's Very Merry Christmas Party. Oh, yeah. Uh, about 30 years ago or so. No, that was probably about 20. Was it? How old was Alex? You remember? No, I don't remember. He wasn't a baby, though, you're right. Heather's kids were babies. Yeah, but we were, the, that was Epcot. We were there for the Christmas um, sing thing. When yeah, we there. were carolers or in the choir or Yeah, whatever. they have uh, this this thing they do. They invite choirs to sing at, at Christmas time at, at Epcot. So that's what we were then. But as far as, as a tragic kingdom, God, we haven't been there forever. Like most Floridians. I think I'm going to order us some hats today. <laughs> yeah, probably a good idea. Careful who's rocking. Mm -hmm. You want to go over yeah, there? Yeah, I'm going over there. I'm going gonna, I'm gonna to avoid. What do they do when they have football practice here? My God. They practice in there. Keep people away from these rocks. They practice in there. Oh, yeah. Oh, cool. Hi, Ben. Okay. I'm going to... Let you see what he's talking about. All these rocks here. It's like a, back, 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 they used to be like a, a, a pathway or something here. Or a building there or something. And this is the road that I walk on, and I'm gonna go down there. That's to because it's, because the this shade. Is the road leading up to it. Yep. <laughs> this is the road. I'd love to see, uh, and he's gonna go have a seat under the pavilion. I'd love to see a, a old map of, of here, what used to be here. Curious. He's antisocial. Well, yeah. <laughs> okay, I'm gonna go down and come back. Okay, you guys get to be with me, and I'm probably gonna stop recording for a little bit so I can get in my zone, and then I'll be back. It's hot. We need hats. Okay, I'm on my way back to pick up Mr. Willie after my little lap around the park. I forgot my, how much I like this little area. It's been a few months since I've been out here to walk it. It doesn't have a designated trail 
So, I'm coming over to meet you. It doesn't have a designated trail. So, that's why we don't walk this one much. Because it has a lot of hills. It's like hiking. In other words, more so than just walking a path. But, whew, now I'm under the pavilion for a few. But it's very beautiful. And there's Mr. Willie. We can hear the uh, Bush Gardens rides <laughs> going off. You hear about the deer from here, yeah? I was just saying that this is, that this is really, really a really nice place. Mm -hmm. Nice cool breeze going, going through here. Uh, it's right off the river. The river is directly behind us. Uh, so we live in a really beautiful place. And no, you can't come here because we're all full. <laughs> uh, no, no, you may not move here now. <laughs> But to be able to come to such a nice place just on your lunch break, there are several parks around in the area that you can go to. You can walk or you can just sit, have lunch with somebody. I see, we see people here sometimes that are probably not married. Not married. This is their little Ronnie. Well, they are married, but they're probably married to other people. Not to the people that are there with little rendezvous in the park on lunchtime but it, it's really nice i i think that cypress point park is the one that has the most that we see out there <laughs> having little rendezvous on their lunch hour because it's like on the beach so very nice very nice, very nice. we have to go there probably sunday we have to take you guys out there in, in, in sunday number, or saturday years, so we'll try to get out there yes and have a little rendezvous of our own, which we can do, because I was married. I was married, I was married now. I was married now. <laughs> okay, we're going to see you guys when we get back in the car. Be right back. Okay, and voila, we're back. The okay. lawyer, or voila, voila. On our way back home, can we get some AC on the uh, situation? Only because only only a little bit because it's going to be in the sound. Oh yeah, you can turn it down. Man. It's going to be like I'll be okay. <laughs> I'll be okay. I apologize, guys. Yeah. I don't record much in the car. I do. I do. He's the pro at that. Mm -hmm. Car coming. So, he knows what's going to make noises and all these different things like that. Road no I mean, because you always have road noise. You just can't, you can't avoid it. Like that. <coughs> and uh, AC noise. So, they put all these uh, a phone holders right in front of the AC vent, which actually is a good thing because you see creators all the time, their phone overheating. Because uh, it's in the window, and especially here in Florida, because it gets to be pretty doggone hot in the car. You gotta hear all that? That's bad road. <laughs> Some bad road around in this area. Yeah. Ooh. They're building some houses over here. Yes, it's that one and then the one up there. And the one, oh, yeah, one from the corner that builds the building. Right on the river. Waterfront property. You know what that means? Taxes go up. Property taxes are going to go up. <laughs> because somebody building a house on the river somehow makes my house more desirable? <laughs> and more... What? <laughs> it's a scam. We, we can walk down to the river, but our house is not right on the river. It is not. <laughs> we do not have water... Waterfront property, we do not. Water adjacent. 
<laughs> you can get to the water from our house pretty easily. But there are some nice homes down here that are on the river, and on the river. and this and this neighborhood is an older neighborhood. So mm -hmm. these people built these houses actually years ago to get away from. Oh, that's a gator. Yeah. They bought these houses back here to get away from the city, really, because uh, it was further north from the city center. That's a little too close to my house, to, to, to those people's house. Well, it's right in their, their side yard of gators up there. <laughs> cause I know you hear gator stories. But when you live on the Hillsborough River, you're going you, 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 you're to encounter gators. That's all there is to it. When you live on the Hillsborough River. I love that rooster. I'm going to show you that rooster sometime. <laughs> People have a four-foot rooster in their front yard. Metal rooster in their front yard. And I want one. No, absolutely not. <laughs> but um, if you live anywhere adjacent to water, you're going to have to deal with the things that are in the water. But we're, we're not going to see gators in our yard. No. We live far enough to where... And there isn't another body of water for them to be going to so they're not going to be crossing over going to the yeah. layer and all that stuff we might be trying to make a sale on something happens all the time Whew, I'm hot but that was a nice little lunch I have about 15 minutes I gotta make hubby's lunch and then, luckily, I can eat whatever I'm going to eat when I log back on. The joys of working from home. I didn't go out yesterday and do a second walk, but I think, well, I got to do meals this evening, so we'll see. How, how it goes. It stays daylight until 8 o'clock, so <laughs> I can get my meals done and then go walking. I love this daylight savings time. Well, we're happy that you guys could come along, spend lunch time with us. And of course, the sound of the turn signals. <laughs> You're right in in the back of it. <laughs> yeah, you hear that? But we are at a humble abode. Back at the ranch. Again, thank you all for coming along with us on this lunch break walk in the park. In the park. In the park. Park. I'm not the, the social person. Yeah, Park. Yes. <laughs> but always remember. Never forget. We love you. And there's, there's nothing, nothing you can do about, about it. it. Peace. Peace out. Well, good morning. It's another morning walk. Early morning. Seeing the sun rise. It's not out, it's behind clouds today, but cloudy day ain't going to stray my way. <laughs> I'm getting it in, and on my second lap, might I add, morning walks I used to do years ago, and I kind of forgot how refreshing it can be. I've got to start changing and go back to mornings because it's getting hot here in Florida, but uh, feeling good. Make sure you get your walk in today or your jog, whatever makes you feel better 
and helps you to move. <sighs> Debbie is feeling good and I can start at work on a different kind of attitude. <sighs> Hubby is in bed, <laughs> but uh, I'm gonna take him with me to the park today. <sighs> Keep my hubby in prayer. Thank you for watching. We love you, and there's nothing you can do about it. Peace. And we're off. And we're good. Hello, hello. It's a Thursday lunch day. And we are going to the park. We took you with us to the park on, what, Tuesday? Yeah. Was it, was it Tuesday? It was Tuesday. Seems like yesterday. No, I didn't walk yesterday doing lunch. I went to lunch late because I was training. That's or doing, true. I was doing something. I don't know. I wasn't on my regular lunch schedule. That's true. And um, so I gave you a break last yesterday. Oh, thank you. Thank you ever so much. <laughs> I walked early morning yesterday. And then again, I did this morning. And I told you guys that I would be back um, to do a lunchtime walk because I was going to. This is Mr. Willie's day to walk because he's having some orthopedic issues. Joints. But joints. <laughs> so he can't messing walk with, every day. Messing with me. with me a little bit. All right. But um, you do what you can and listen to your body. Don't push your body too much. Like I did about years ago when I wow. yeah because it was the year that you had so we're about 11 years about 11, mm -hmm. 11 years out that I that same year my knee started hurting bothering me and it just gave out on me and um tore my meniscus and you hear, actually you hear a lot of people with injuries, and that's, and that's the culprit. Uh, people getting meniscus tears. And when they tell you, you know, you need to have surgery, I recommend you go ahead and have the surgery. Don't try to wait it out, taking meds and doing all that stuff. I wish I had have had the surgery when it was first recommended and not tried to, to you know, nurse it and do this and put braces on and do all of this stuff and, like that. And, and I think that because knee surgery used to be like, oh my God, I'm going to be down for a year mm -hmm. because they used to, I mean, they, because before, in, you know, endoscopic surgery, they would have to slice your knee open. You had this big, huge scar and it was a big deal. And any surgery is still a big deal. Yes, surgery is serious. I don't want to, you know, I don't, don't, don't want to downplay that. Mm -hmm. But, you know, with endoscopic surgery, they they have a little, I mean, it's it's a lot less invasive. And the recovery time is a lot, is a lot you know, it's a lot shorter. Yeah, when I had my surgery, they had me, um, it, of course it was outpatient, but they told me to go home and you can walk on it. They want you walking on that leg right away so that it can build its strength back. Because if you sit down and, you know, nurse it and don't do anything like that, you'll end up disabled. <laughs> well, the, mud, the muscles will atrophy. atrophy. Mm -hmm. And um, that'll make it doubly tough to get back to where you're back to where you need to be so yeah and you know and, and and the scar is like i don't know that big small i well i have three little holes yeah where they where they put the stuff in mm -hmm. and and do the deal so and and i was i had the surgery i think friday and i was back to work monday yeah i of course had crutches 
but I was still told to put pressure on it. Um, and in the house, I wasn't allowed to have any crutches. So you end up walking, you know, within a week, it, less than a week, I was not even using crutches. So it it's amazing how quickly you recover from that. Yeah. So, so don't fear it. Don't yeah. have any fear. With yeah, it. I don't think that it's going to be. It's going to be like, oh my God, I think I'm going to have this big scar, and and it's just no, no. no, no. I'm trying to talk my my brother, not my oldest brother, but my second oldest, because he's hopping around with his knees and stuff, and and it it just doesn't make sense. Go have the surgery. <laughs> Do something. And we're back. I apologize for that. Phone got full, <laughs> and it just cut off on us. And as you can see, we got hats. We got hats. <laughs> Amazing how the the miracles of Amazon. Yes, <laughs> but we have hats now uh, to be out in the sun. Where do you want to go? We're on the, what is this, a basketball court? Uh, yeah. <clears throat> it can be tennis, too. So it doesn't have that. That's true. Line for the line's going to take court first. You have to draw lines and put a net up. <clears throat> we don't have the pleasure of... Uh, I'm, sorry, I'm sorry they haven't made it a pickleball court. Yeah, pickleball is <laughs> popular now. <laughs> We don't have the uh, city of Tampa out here having their lunch today. Let's give you a, a view of what we see. Here we are. And if you look way over there. Way out there you'll see Montu. You'll see Montu. On the, on the right. At Bush Gardens. Looks like right over there and if you look to the left a little look bit to the left a big matchstick in the sky is falcon's fury 300 210 feet to the top and then it drops you the drop is what they call the drop poster it's unfortunately sort of like the one that that kid in orlando got yeah, killed it's the same, same type of poster but yeah it, it, it's completely different it was built by different people at a different time different restraints is completely it's not the same if you're not aware that it was about two years ago a young man died on one of those roller coasters like this and if you look now you can see people going up let's see if i can get it right see it right there and you hang out and you can basically from there see a lot of the city you can and, see a lot of things, the park and then they it. drop you <laughs> and you can hear it from here it went Skrr! so let's go back to normal okay there's some pavilions over there and Right here, we have the football court. They have football practice right there. Well, whatever. <laughs> football field. They, yeah, they normally refer to it as a field. <laughs> we have a, uh, an area uh, roped off that the, I think they're called the Temple Bay, the, the Temple Crest Ravens. I think that they practice here. Temple they, Crest Ravens. Yeah, they don't have their games here, but they they, 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 they practice here. here. Maybe one evening I'll come out when they're in season. Hard to get to. A lot of. I mean, they have a really good participation rate. I mean, yeah, and the parking is hard. It's it. I don't normally come out here on the evenings because it's people a lot going on. Down the street. So yeah. yeah, it's cool. It is cool. 
Okay, we're gonna go away and come back because we're getting ready to take a heel. Be right back. And we're back. That was our, we didn't film very much on our walking because <coughs> it is, car coming here. It is very hot. It is today. hot out today. It's, the car says it's 82. So it's probably 85, maybe 86. Uh, so we're going to have 90 degree days here soon. Thus the hats and thus me walking early in the morning. <laughs> yeah, no doubt. I, could, I tried to get Mr. Willard to come out with me this morning. Uh, I didn't want to. like, no bueno. No. No bueno. Him and TC. Yeah, Queen TC Bell, Toby is the first. Decided that we would we would stay in the castle this morning. <laughs> Our kitty is very unique in that she decides at um, 3 a.m., to sing the song of her people. <laughs> There's nothing wrong with her. She's perfectly healthy. But at 3 a.m., she is up and she wants to eat or play. And she lets us know. <laughs> she screams. Such a tiny cat. She weighs, what, seven pounds, seven, maybe? Well, it's about seven and a half pounds. But she has the big mouth. She can make some noise, though. And she makes some noise at 3 a.m. or 4 a.m. Yeah. And she wants you to get up and see what she wants to do. So I bought her some balls that we leave out so she could play with and put little catnip on them and different things like that. Because she does, at her age of what? She's 13. 13. She still loves to play. She still loves to run up and down. She has zooming times where she and she decides at 3 a.m. sometime to have a zooming party. And she zooms up and down the hallways and 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 knocks things and does little th tricks at night. And our my clothing basket I left out in the bedroom and she jumped in it and knocked all the balls out of because I have like drying balls in there. She knocked all of those out and she she's a little something else. So when people say, why don't you get her some somebody to play with? No. No. No, absolutely not. <laughs> TC is not a social kitty. No, no. She doesn't she doesn't need a, a I mean she doesn't need other cats. Um that's some of the reason why we have her CC us. Uh, he didn't until he turned around. <laughs> um, the reason why we have her because the our exterminator who had her has like several cats and she did not want to socialize with them and um, because she's the queen. And uh, <laughs> she, is, she is the queen. And they they did not like her because she was very so so she stayed most of the time with them locked up in the bedroom. So that's not, that wasn't a life for her. And she got a blessing of the Lawsons to take her in. And now she has full range of our house, even at 3 a.m. in the yes. morning. So, so that's, that's Queen Deasy Bell. Tobin is the first. And uh, so, of course, if you're up at 3 a.m., at 3 p.m., you're asleep, right? <laughs> that's good. That's kind of that's kind of the deal. And and we take turns, you know, kind of like you do with a newborn. If one of us knows that we're not going to be working the next day, or we can sleep in, we stay with her. We'll get up and play with TC. Yeah, you because know, sometimes you'll you go to see if she has food, and then you, you go I'll, I'll, I'll go in the kitchen, and she's running there, and now she's just sitting in her box. Cause she wants to play because she, she has food she has water she's fine but she's sitting in the box and now she wants to play rocket <laughs> yeah game that debbie made up call called rocket so <laughs> you're like now i'm going to bed she wants you to get the little thing out with the feathers or, yeah. 
or, or the little, tail. Little, little, little worm thing. And she just wants to play. She just wants to play. So that is what our nights are consist of. Yes. <laughs> we have a newborn. <laughs> 13 year old newborn. Alrighty. We're back at the castle. Okay. Open the drawbridge. <laughs> that was a nice little lunchtime walk at the park. And maybe tomorrow we'll go to a different park. Who knows? We'll see what happens. We'll see what happens. Or we might not do anything. Tomorrow's Friday. We'll, <laughs> we'll see what happens. <laughs> but thanks for coming along with us. Peace out. We love you. I know something you can do about it. Bye now. <laughs>
that's that's what's up this morning. Yeah. This video should be up by it's Sunday, so it should be up by tomorrow with yeah. stuff from last weekend today. So make that happen. Thank you again for everybody who subscribed over the past 28 days, over a thousand. 1100 of you we appreciate that yes so uh, we're are, we're at like 1400 so I'm very grateful and thankful that um, for you all of you who have subscribed I appreciate it so we'll um we'll it's a pink food truck yes that's an Asian food truck and it was packed over there yesterday People were coming from the church over the, over to this food truck. My barber has an ingenious idea that while people are getting their haircuts, there's some food trucks, there's a place to wash your car. Um, and yesterday, it was a, it was everything that he could have wanted. That place was packed over there. What's going on here? I don't know. Popo headed headed into Temple Terrace. Hope everything's okay. Yeah, hope everybody's okay. No serious injuries or anything. All right, well. So much going on in the world now, you never know. There is. There is. All right, well, we'll try to pick you guys up here in a little bit. Let you know how it goes. If not inside, if, if not inside church, definitely afterwards. So we'll see you in a few minutes. I think you believe in the God of the TV. <laughs> I think you believe in the God of TikTok. So I, so I, I thought, and I'm thinking for a while. It's um, it's not. Hello, hello. Hey y'all. Well, we're on our way back. It's been a great adventure this morning. We have Thank church you. service. Got a little bit of clip in there for you guys to see. Um. And uh, we just came from Publix. We're shopping as a player. <laughs> Publix is the best grocery store. I mean, you pay you pay for what you get. You get what you pay for. So it is a shopping pleasure. And that one is my favorite Publix. So I like to stop there after church every Sunday. Even if I don't really need anything, I like to go there. <laughs> it's a, it, it's a it's a well kept well kept well lit. Well stocked store is nice. Very nice. And um so now we're on our way home. And are we coming back tonight? Do you have to speak tonight? I don't have to speak tonight. Okay. I was thinking about coming back because because James and Catherine are speaking tonight. I should be there to support them. So I was thinking about coming back. I was thinking about coming back. Okay. We're on our way home to nap time. A little lunchy lunch, a little nappy nap. I, I have a few things I need to get done. I need to pay some bills. And I, have some, I have some lunchy lunch and nappy nap planned. Yippee yippee. But this is what our Sundays are usually like, unless we have some other events or something that we have to speak to or, or whatever. Or we have to be out of town or something. But normally, this, normally this is a deal. Not that exciting. It's good though. You but know, it's see, good family see, time. See, it, it, exciting doesn't is doesn't is, is completely over over overrated. As long as it's good. Yeah. You know, are you having are are, are is the time a good time? Um, is it well spent? You know, exciting doesn't always mean good. And and when we go home, we usually. What do we watch y'all? Every Sunday when there's football, okay, no football. Here's what I do. I, if, there, if there's NFL going on, I'll, I'll watch um, the first possession defensively and offensively of my, of my Buccaneers. Yeah, I'm in the wrong lane here. Uh, I'm going to be out of this lane in just a second. Give, give me a second, y'all. All right. There you go. The car behind me is the same thing. It's funny. And the car up there is is trying to turn in the, um, I don't know Something what they're trying to do. They don't know where they want to go. They are like 
on the side of the road, really. Yeah, they want to go over in the grass. Any case, so uh, I go to <laughs> and their car shows the things did. you see. Um, <laughs> but uh, I, I'll watch the first offense with defensive position of my Buccaneers, and then I'll go take a nap, and then wake up at four or or four thirty when the game's over to see if we won. And I usually watch the whole game. <laughs> I'm, I'm sticking in there for the whole thing. If it gets to be too too much pressure, though, I usually um, turn it to another channel and take a break or something like that. But normally, I watch the whole thing. Yes, I love football, ladies. This is this is Florida it's football, football. The South. The South, baby. The South I care about football. And then when it's not football season, which you're twisting, why are y'all twisting up? I don't know. <laughs> when it's not football season, we watch the heat of the night. In the heat of the night. We're, we're that old <laughs> that we watch the heat of the night. And from all. Yeah. I still love that show. <laughs> yeah, we still watch that. And then... So what do y'all watch? Y'all watch... Y'all watch... Y'all still watching In the Heat of the Night or... Or what are those shows from the, um... You know, from the... From the 90s, 80s, 70s? Anybody Matt watch... Matlock. I watch Matlock or Cannon. <laughs> or, uh, Barnaby Jones. Yeah, Barnaby Jones. There you go. With Buddy Epson. <laughs> That's what I'm saying. What's that other one with, uh... Walker, Texas Ranger. Yeah. Oh, my dad loved that show. Walker, Texas Ranger. That's still, you can still catch all of those all, shows on, the on best, that channel we watch the, the heat of the night. The best part about how you watch TV now is that all of those things are still there. Uh, okay, well, maybe that's going to be okay. Um, all those all the programs are still available, and you can, still, and you can still watch them. You can watch them all. You can watch them all the time, all day. Oh, does the sun come see us? Yeah, you see it, bro? I didn't see it. Yeah, yeah. Oh, get out of there. That's true. <laughs> so you can watch all of those programs. It's great. Because I don't know about you. New TV programming? Complete booty. <laughs> we rarely watch Just regular complete television. Complete booty. <laughs> Awful. So. There aren't many shows that I, I that I that, that are being broadcast now that I pick over in the heat of the night. And then when they do have something that's good and you get into it and stuff like that, they cancel it. At the good shows, they they cancel them it, within a year or two or something like that. So moral the the, the morals of TV uh, producers are not the same as what we live by. So. It's hard to find regular TV. So that's why I kind of wavered over to YouTube. And I have YouTube channels and families that I watch on there. And um, and look forward to them, you know, them coming on a certain day whenever they post their videos and stuff like that. I watch that. And old TV and game shows. And that's pretty much it. Game shows. Split second. America says. Family Coming to you. <laughs> Wheel of Fortune. Yeah, Wheel of Fortune. Jeopardy, all of that. You gotta love Jeopardy. So. Yes. We, we, we're showing our age, but. Yeah, well, no, I, I mean. Maybe, Price is right. Yeah, <laughs> you know, maybe, but. You know, some stuff is good. Oh, and the person is chief driving like they forgot how to drive. How are your ducks in your Jeep? Probably splayed all over the front now, <laughs> on the floor, weaving back and forth. Have you all noticed that thing where people that have Jeeps, they- Have ducks. They, they, they- Co Collect ducks. It's like a little cult where oh, they oh, it's trade ducks. It's a big cult. That's what it is. And if you have a Jeep, somebody might leave a duck on your truck. You come back, you come back from the grocery store and somebody drop like four or five rubber ducks on your truck and it's just, it's weird. Very so weird. people who drive Jeeps, 
carry around rubber ducks so that they can give other Jeep owners ducks. ducks. It's, 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 I don't know, it's stupid. There's a club at my work of, of Jeep drivers. There are a lot of people. That, that continuous drivers. sort of making, you know, affirmation that you, that you haven't made a bad decision. <laughs> trying to convince themselves they haven't made a bad decision by buying a Jeep. And they are, they look good and they're sporty and in style, but have you ridden in a Jeep? They are not comfortable. I, I don't know. It's a cool thing and to be able to take your top off and go to the beach and we live in the in in the air in an area where it's cool to have a Jeep on the weekend because you can take the top off and ride around and blah 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 blah. And, and then suddenly that. it rains and then you're soaked to the skin. <laughs> Duh. But it's it's a thing you now. Wish in you case had a you roof. haven't had noticed, it's a thing. Wish you had a roof. Oh well. Driving around with the breeze blowing in your hair is a cool thing. It yes. feels good. I'm sure it does. <laughs> because I have my last car that I owned had a sunroof and I like sunroofs and moonroofs or whatever you want to call it and you can open it up and on the weekend I like to drive around doing my errands with the wind blowing in my hair but I missed riding up high so a Jeep was kind of in the consideration of when purchasing a vehicle, but they're not comfortable to me to ride in. So I still want comfort. So. Comfort while I'm driving. I want that. Want heated seats? Want lumbar support? Need lumbar support? Which you don't get in Jeep. I know if you go, but my Cherokee. We ain't talking about your Cherokee with a hard roof. I ain't talking about that. I'm talking I'm, about a real. I'm Jeep. talking about them Jeeps that look like World War II vehicles. That's what we're talking it's kind of like the craze when Hummers. Remember when people wanted Hummers? Uh, that was the craze. Well, but Hummers were very comfortable inside. They were luxurious. Yes. And huge. And Humvees are army vehicles. Maybe they have improved on Jeeps since I test drove one or rode it. I don't know. Anybody any, anybody own a Jeep? Let us know. Can you comment and let, uh, let us know how much you love your Jeep? And why should we should get one? Not a Jeep Cherokee. Not one of Jeep I mean a Jeep. Like, you know. A Jeep that you can take the top Take the doors off. off. The do doors off. Now, why you ride around in a car that you can take the doors off? I don't understand, but whatever. It's cool. Really. Yeah, one of the one of the things about I like driving around in a car is that protects you from safety. <laughs> you know, being a uh, a motorcycle or a bicycle is that it's got doors. I don't know. Well, it is a Florida thing here. A lot of jeeps. Well, I think it's a Florida thing. Is it like any place where people will spend some you know, a decent amount of time out, out, out outside? Mm -hmm. Places like Colorado, you know, wherever people are spending time outdoors. It's busy. Are we late? Oh, I know. I see. I know. Where I <laughs> but I just can't uh, get in that lane. We right are kind of late, I guess. I, I say that because the traffic is a lot right now. Hmm. Yeah, I could have made that if, uh... Oh, well. Fine. Okay, it's fine. It's fine. That's the thing about driving. Like, sometimes you just have to just, like, it's fine. It's fine. I didn't get to turn that light. It's fine. I'm still here, and in you know, and in two minutes I get to I'll, I'll get to try it again. It's fine. No, it's a lot of traffic here. Oh yeah, that's okay.
I'm not gonna pull in front of somebody. I'm not. I'm not trying to jam on the accelerator. And... We got all the time in the world. Yeah, that's what I got time. Nope. And I, you know, when I see accidents on the on the street, I can you can almost almost look at the result and and guess that somebody was impatient. Two things. Somebody somebody wasn't paying attention and, and somebody else was impatient. And that always makes for a bad day. My phone don't sit on there good now. Well, I'm sorry. It doesn't sit up there well. No, because you really need the the thing. The piece of metal. Anyway. Well, we are headed to the home, homestead. It's home, it's not a homestead because we don't have any chickens. <laughs> not by my choice. No chickens are coming. <laughs> I want chicken. I want to take care of chicken or chicken poop. Chicken but, poop in particular. But we thought we would bring you guys along with us on a Sunday. On Sunday. Again, that was... It was our Sunday. I, I get to, see, you know, I've gotten to speak at church um, a number of times. I haven't actually I haven't done it in a while, a long while, as a matter of fact. But it's cool. It's nice that um, when pastors got to be out of town, that there are people in the church that he can trust the church to. That somebody from the church doesn't doesn't get up to speak and it gets crazy and it suddenly gets crazy and then it's something he has to fix when he gets back. I have been to churches like that before. Did he come back and have the church be mad with him or something? But oh, Do you know what he said? Blah, 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 blah. It's just... <laughs> it's nutty. <laughs> so it's, it's nice that we don't have, have that level we of problem. We don't drama. have that. We're blessed. Our church, we're blessed to have a, a good church. Good folks. Let's see. What's going on at Bush Gardens? Giraffes. Also, the other cages being built in there. As we told you before, when we go to the park and we show you, we live right down the street from, from Bush, Gardens. Bush Gardens, and you can we can see the ride right here. You can see the rides. You can when we pass on our way back from church, you can see the giraffes. I see the infirmary where they yeah. take care of the giraffes. That the the part that we see is where they go when they have a little sniffle. Mm -hmm. They hit. They have a sore they have a sore throat. If a giraffe has a sore throat, it's a big long deal. <laughs> Literally. Yeah, that's what I'm saying. <laughs> I'm saying. <laughs> so, um, and we just got a baby orangutan. Lula just had a baby. Did they name her yet? No, there isn't a, there isn't a name yet. I imagine the name will come soon. Baby and Lula just got reunited because Lula had to have a C-section. Oh, that's different. Mm -hmm. Well, yeah. Yeah. And it's one of those orangutans that's on the um, endangered species list, so it's they cool. They had to make sure she delivered uh, and live. Yeah, that the baby was okay, so. Yeah, it's cool. It is cool. So when you so when we talk about Bush Gardens, it isn't just the rides. It's, it's a zoo, really. There's all sorts of cool stuff happening in the zoo. And you can pay extra to go get close. Yeah, we have tours. Like, we went, went on your birthday a couple years ago. I went to the Tiger Insider. Got close to the tigers. No, you don't get to pet them. No. But you get really close to you them. You get close enough. You get close enough to the tigers. It was pretty cool. We weren't filming that much then. No, but there is there's some video out there of that. Okay. I think that video is on Facebook though, I think. I think you have it on TikTok. I put I put up a small clip on TikTok before. So maybe I can, maybe I'll look for it and pop that in here if I remember. 
so many times I, I think about these things when, I'm, when we're recording and then when I'm editing I just forget <laughs> yeah when we uh, were in the Tiger Insider and watch them watch them eat horse meat meatballs yeah they had they were feeding him I think I got to feed one got to hold a little fork mm -hmm. and um And you find out a whole bunch of cool stuff like tigers don't purr. Yeah, like cats. They're they're a big cat, but they don't purr. They make all sorts of other vocalizations, but they don't purr. And that's what you find out, you know, about any of the other animal encounters. Um, rhinoceros, hippopotamus. Find out details about them. about how they live, and you know. So, so it is kind of cool. So don't ever think when you're going on vacation and you think about bush gardens that it's, it's just only rides. rides. It's not just rides. You can, they have shows. You can go in mm -hmm. to see, um, you know, different acting and stuff like that. And then um, shows where you can go in and sit and learn about the animals. Yeah, they have. Stuff. Yeah, so there's all sorts of stuff going on there. So if you're interested Fish in it. that kind of stuff, it's a good, and are your kids, if you want to take your kids to see it, it's it's a good learning experience. Go on the weekdays though, trust me, trust me, go on the weekdays. She's a lot less busy on the weekdays. And we are home. We're back here, we're home. So thank you guys for going with us to church today. Appreciate you. All right. Remember this, never forget. We love you. And there's nothing you can do about it. Peace. <laughs>